A jogger goes by, he jumps out of the bushes and just starts beating this jogger, right? It was unbelievable. The story came out on TMZ, we're like, this can't be true. What's up guys, Derek, moreplaysmoreadies.com. Today we're gonna be talking about Vitaly's um, incident wasn't that recent, but it was recent enough that I feel it's worth touching on because no one has really talked about the roid rage aspect of it or lack thereof. So in this video, I'm basically gonna be talking about was his actions instigated by roid rage? Is roid rage real? If, is that exactly what caused what he did? Uh, what are the chances that that's gonna happen to you if you take steroids? And basically what you'd wanna know in a mental health context when it comes to anabolic steroid use. Did he go fucking insane because he took gear? That's what we're gonna be talking about pretty much. I've done a video on Vitaly before and his HRT regimen, which I theorize is probably closer to a mini cycle year round being prescribed by whatever TRT clinic he's with. Um, he made a substantial amount of progress in a very short period of time and he sustained them thereafter with, I wouldn't say no effort. He obviously put in a lot of work to maintain the um, leanness he did and whatnot, but once you achieve that size, it is, you know, not too intensive to maintain it. And he was traveling a lot, doing, you know, working a lot. And at the end of the day though, is that what caused him to lash out and go fucking insane? Steroids get a bad rap. They, a lot of people think, oh, you take it and you go fucking mental and, you know, you're going to randomly want to beat the shit out of people that you wouldn't have otherwise, or, you're going to have a temper when you're normally, you know, a very calm and reasonable person. You're just going to start, you know, getting into bar fights. You're going to get in fights with your girlfriend. You can't even have a normal conversation with somebody without fucking tweaking in your head. At the end of the day, though, it really does not work like that. There's so many misconceptions around how steroids work and how they impact mental processes and the psychoactive effects they have are more so just something that exaggerates your current personality. So if you're naturally a dickhead human and you take a bunch of gear, what's going to happen? You'll probably become a bit more of a dickhead. Oh, you? However, if you're normally a calm and very nice person and you know very rational very reasonable don't lash out and you take a whole bunch of gear you might get a bit more on edge by certain individuals in certain situations but it's not going to take you from calm and reasonable to mentally fucking insane where you assault somebody on the side of the street for no good reason vitaly's case i feel like is a combination of aggression and some sort of recreational drug use that had nothing to do with gear, although it may have been exacerbated by gear. So roid rage, no, it's not really real. However, if you have a very bad temper and a personality which already is combative or you're somebody with a short fuse to begin with, the likelihood that if you throw some fucking test and trend into the mix that you're not going to get worse is low. It's going to be very likely that things are going to get worse. So roid rage isn't really a thing. However, maybe it's an indication that if you are naturally hostile, that you would be better off not taking anything <laughs> unless deemed medically appropriate for, for some sort of clinical deficiency. Because I've seen some guys who just, you know, even naturally they have issues with their own personality just as a natural and you throw Tren into the mix and they become a bit of a fucking psychopath. So with Vitaly, I don't think he was running Tren. I think most of what he was doing, if not everything, was probably through his clinic he was using. He's probably using, um, well, I went through it in my video where I did on him. I'll put a card up in the corner where you can actually delve into exactly what steroids and performance enhancing drug compounds he does or did, I don't know if he still does, use. And frankly, I don't even know what the update is on the legal situation, but at the end of the day, gear isn't going to take you from zero to I wanna knock that random person out on the side of the street for just being there and I don't even know them. The only thing that's gonna do that is a combination of your own personality, perhaps exacerbated by androgens, but the catalyst to the situation in my opinion was likely whatever recreational drugs he was using so 
At the end of the day, is roid rage real? No, but if you're a dickhead, it's certainly going to make you more of a dickhead. So keep that in mind. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe. Check out my blog, moreplatesmoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplates, underscore more dates. Facebook, Snapchat, BitChute, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts, wherever I am. If you want to support the channel, uh, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. My nootropic and pre-workout formulas. Nootropics, basically, for students, entrepreneurs, anybody who's just looking for a mental edge kind of crank your productivity and focus up. That's what the nootropics are meant for. Pre-workouts, obviously self-explanatory. I write them out on a Word document myself from scratch and I compel you to compare them to the label on your current pre-workout and you'll see pretty quick why I have such a <laughs> such a bias towards mine. Like obviously I made them and everything, so of course I'm biased, but I mean, I go out of my way to make sure we have the most potent formulas in the industry. Just compare the labels and you'll see why. Also, my TRT clinic is linked in the description below. If you are somebody seeking uh, hormone optimization, feel you may benefit from it in some capacity, or just want to assess your current health status, I would compel you to reach out to them. Talk to one of the patient care coordinators. They are very well qualified and do Follow my content to stay up to date on the latest research as well. And they will take a look at your situation and get you some blood work. From there, you can have a consult with the doctor over Skype, over Zoom, over FaceTime, whatever it is. It's all telemedicine, so it's very convenient. And from there, go through your bloods, assess if you have any imbalances or deficiencies that may otherwise need addressing or you may benefit from just from a quality of life standpoint. So if that interests you, I recommend that you reach out to them. And if you end up getting medication through them, you'll get $50 off your first order with the coupon code in the description below. Anything else I'm associated with is in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.